Hi guys, we're back again. Um, in this video, uh, I was going to have a little chat on how to catch trevally in a, in a random broadwater. Since um, a friend asked me in the comment section just to do a video on how to catch a few trevs. And I do get asked this question quite a lot, especially by shark fishermen. I want to catch them for shark bait. Trevally are really good shark bait, especially for bull sharks. So I just thought I'd just give a little spill on how I've, how I used to. It's not something I've done lately, haven't done it for a while. But how I used to and where I used to catch quite a lot of trevally, daytime and nighttime. And it's all on lures. And it's good fun. Anyway, we'll start off with um, the seaway. Gold Coast Seaway. You can catch trevally in around the seaway and the broad water and stuff pretty much all year round. You really can. Um, but when I go to do it myself, I like chasing them when the water's clean. Not so much like now, we had the floods and the water's still dirty. You might be able to catch them over the high water, but generally I like when the water's a bit cleaner. And when I'm chasing trevally, it doesn't matter where I am, seaway, up the canals, in the broad water, I like the last couple of hours of running tide and the high tide itself and that's pretty much the only time I'll chase them. And in the seaway, okay, this goes to daytime and nighttime. Okay, don't think you, you don't catch them at nighttime, you do, you catch a lot at nighttime. So daytime and nighttime in the seaway, if I'm like um, at the pipe or with friends at the pipe chasing jewies, we have live baits down. And in the last couple of hours of running tide, you'll often, quite often see fish splashing around the surface. Most of the time they're trevally, they're GTs and big eyes. Probably mainly big eyes, but there's a few GTs in amongst them. So, what we do is just on like your little 2500s, like just little spin sticks, you don't have to go big. I just use the little 2500s, like that's a, a man fit on a, a Zodius rod, something like that. Eight, 10 pound braid. I usually run around about a 16 pound leader, because they will try and rub you off on bits and pieces. Around a 16 pound leader. Mm -hmm. And just cast stick baits, like little stick baits like this. Okay, you'd be surprised. The trevally go nuts over these things. And I'm not talking like walk the dog style and everything else and twitching and everything else. They come up and have a look and disappear. Just if you see them up to the surface, they're splashing around feeding. Daytime or nighttime if you hear them or see them in through the lights, moonlights and everything else. Cast stick baits and wind them fast. Just get them skipping on the surface. Once if you're moving them fast, their natural reaction is to chase it and smack it. They don't get time to look at it, they don't get time to think about it, like walk the dog and twitching. That's cool to come, fish come and have a look, but they get time to think about it and think something's not right here and usually swim away. But when you're skipping them fast on the surface, they just want to chase it and smack it. And this, they don't get time to think about it, they just natural instinct. Hit and eat, hit and run. So daytime, nighttime, just, I mainly run stick baits, I like using like stick baits. Like walk the dog sort of style like that. It does work, but I prefer just a normal stick bait. And just wind them fast. Just get them skipping on the surface. It works well. Um, at times in the seaway, we get some pretty big swell and you get some white water rolling down the walls. Uh, the trevally will be in amongst the white water with the tailor. Tailor will be there too. And stick baits don't work quite as well because you actually pull them out of the strike zone too fast because sometimes they sit under the white water use it as cover. And these things coming out just, they leave the strike zone too fast. So go to poppers and big poppers with big cups. So when you bloop these things, they push a lot of water and they make a lot of noise going through the white water. And that seems to attract it, a good way to attract the attention of Trevally and Taylor right along the walls in the white water. So go a big cup face popper. But don't work it too slow, like really bloop it and wind it, just bloop it quite quickly. Make it move. Don't bloop and then pause and bloop and pause. Just bloop, 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 bloop. Just Make it move. Once you get them, stir them up, get them to hit it, not come up, have, not come up and have a look. Um, even when I'm up the rivers, um, even like, um, uh, I can't think, I can't think of the name of the lakes, that's a shame. But anyway, up the rivers, you guys know, some of the lakes are in the Gold Coast, Ultra Valley. Little poppers like these, great things, okay? Work a treat. Um, but once again, don't bloop and pause, just bloop, 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 bloop. Keep it moving, keep it going. Stir the fish up. And another way, the other thing I was gonna to say too, 
bigger stick baits if you're going to run like white water on a bit of surf big things like this okay don't be scared to use bigger lures it, like people think that's big but really it's only the size of the pilchard not a problem for a trevally even a small one they'll knock that off not a problem in the world and the other thing i was going to say i oh, must have put it away uh where is it where is it where is it clear Okay, a lot of people will say don't use clear at night time when you're doing this. Like they also use blacks and dark colours for silhouettes. I'm going to say sorry BS to that. I've run pure clear lures just to prove a point. The Trevally will sense it on the surface, skip along the surface. They'll use a lateral line, they'll sense it. They'll know it's there, don't worry. If they're there and they're hungry, they'll have a crack at it. Don't worry about the colour. It's not gonna friggin' matter. It's really not. Clears, darks, it doesn't matter. I'll eat them all. Just get them moving. Okay. And the other thing is, like, that's the new thing from Shimano. I said I was gonna test out flathead fishing the other day. And I did. But this doesn't sink. It floats. So, once again, there's another Trevally lure. That'll probably work all. Well. Skimming along the surface quite fast, flashing away. So, expensive like Trevally lure. <laughs> Um, the other thing to do in the seaway is over the high water when the tide starts slowing down. This works very well. A lot of guys do this. It's just like a little micro jigs, like these, and jigging on the pipe. You can go along the pipe with your sounder on, and you'll see schools of fish like midwater. Generally, they're trevally. So get some micro jigs out, little little jigs like that, and start jigging these just above the pipe. Great way to catch trevally. You'll hook a lot. You'll get smoked by some good ones around the pipe. But it's good fun. And but last but not least in the seaway, good old metal slug. So if you're off the rocks and you need some casting distance, a bit of weight, don't go past a good old metal slug. Especially if you see the fish breaking around us like in the seaway, put a metal slug on for a bit of distance, heavy weight, and cast and just wind as fast as you can. Just wind really fast. So you got them ones, you got that type of thing there, like resin. Just they're nice and heavy, just wind fast, get them skipping. Trevally I'll eat them. Um, apart from the seaway, the other places I do fish are away in Ray Break and Crab Island at times and the Sovereign Islands. You'll see fish busting up, especially over once again high water. They're generally Trevally, so once again poppers, stick baits, casting slugs if you haven't got poppers and stick baits, everyone's got a casting slug. Okay. Um, and even up the rivers like the Coomera and the Rang rivers. Up the Coomera, I do like fishing once again high water, but at night time around Riviera. Riviera has got a lot of lights on it and a lot of bait goes there. And at times you find a lot of trevally and good ones. And also while you're there, don't be scared to put a soft plastic on the bottom and jig soft plastic around. Good spot for a few school jew. Good fun. Um, the other places too is up in the ring. I fish around Isla Capri Bridge quite a lot. Um, the Chevron Island Bridges as well. Once again, night time, running tide, and use poppers and stick baits up there. It's a good spot to find a lot of trevally around the lights, because they'll be around the lights hunting of the bait, bait fish hanging around there. Um, apart from that, there's not much else I can say. All you gotta do is fish high water, guys. Generally, if the trevally are feeding or in schools, you'll see them breaking up the surface. Don't drive up into the center of them like some guys do. Look at your wind, look at the current, and set your boat, if you're in a boat, um, up current, up wind of the school, and stop your engine and try and drift back onto them casting. Just use a bit of common sense. Don't drive straight into them because you'll just put them down, they'll pop up and mow down the stream. You know, they're hard to find a second time around. Uh, if you're from the land, stick baits and stuff are quite good, but like I said, if they're out a little bit further and you can't get cast with poppers and stick baits, just get some slugs and just wind them fast. Make sure they're up near the surface and try and get them skimming a bit. They'll get the trevally too from the, from the land. Uh, I'm going to say that's about it. Um, doing these methods, you will find GTs and you will find a lot of big eyes, mainly big eyes, but you do find some GTs, especially around the seaway, we do get some good ones. I have caught them four or five kilo and you get smoked a lot around the pipe, even on the north wall and stuff. Some of the trevally um, can be quite large, I think. Some of them were forked and just <laughs> haven't had, had a hope in hell for stopping them, especially in the light gear. Anyway, give it a give it a crack. High tide, daytime, nighttime, doesn't matter. Just make sure the water's clean. 
and hopefully you'll see them busting up. And if they're not, look along like places like the pipe and look for spate, I mean not bait schools, schools of fish, midwater, Belbisher Valley. Put jigs down into them. Stir them up that way. Anyway, I hope that sort of you can give gives you a few ideas on how to find a future valley on the Gold Coast. Um, happy hunting and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.